Greetings Earthlings, I'm back with another large diaphragm condenser mic review for you guys. So today I'm reviewing this guy, the SE Electronics X1 or the Sex1, not to be confused with the X1S or any other variant, this is just the X1 which has been discontinued but I still think you can pick it up for around 200 bucks. For this review, the mic's connected to the 2i2 second gen, 48 volts phantom power on, and my gain at around 40 or 45%. Not going to do any post-processing, compression, or EQ, but I will boost it in post, so check the doobly-doo for that information. Now let's talk about what comes in the box. You're obviously going to get the microphone. You get a microphone mount, which does come with a 5 8 to 3 8 inch microphone stand adapter. And you get a couple pieces of paper with links to their website so you can download the spec sheets. But since this is a discontinued model, it's not available there. And I had to pull some janky version off some other website, so I don't even know if it's accurate. As far as the build quality for $100 or $200, this thing is just decent. It does have an all metal body, which does feel really nice, but the mesh grill protecting the microphone's capsule is a bit on the weak side, and so much so that I dented it while putting it into the microphone mount. And it also does have a really nice amount of weight to it. Then on the front of the microphone, you'll find two switches, the first one being a negative 10 decibel pad in case you're recording loud sound sources, as well as a high pass filter, which according to the spec sheet, rolls off frequency starting at around 500 hertz. As far as the specs, this thing has a cardioid polar pattern, a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, a max SPL of 127 or 137 decibels, but Guitar Center says 125 decibels, an impedance of 50 ohms, but Guitar Center says it's 200 ohms, and a sensitivity of negative 32 decibels. So far, I've been speaking into the microphone using the flat mode, and now I've switched on the high pass filter, which rolls off frequency starting at around 500 hertz at around four decibels per octave and this is how the microphone sounds with that initialized now I'm spinning around the microphone to see what the actual polar pattern is what the off-axis coloration is and how my voice changes as we move around the microphone's capsule now I'm a couple inches away from the microphone with the Stedman Pro Screen 101 and this is how the microphone is sounding with a pop filter. Now I'm leap gaming on a keyboard with Cherry MX Blues to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. Now I'm right on top of the microphone to see what kind of proximity effect we can get. About a foot away from the microphone, about two feet away from the microphone, and about four feet away from the X1. <laughs> Other than pizza, I like nachos. Now do you like my double chin? So simply put, I'm just not the biggest fan of this microphone's tone. In terms of pros, it does have a decent build quality, excluding the mesh that does dent a bit too easily. And it has a pad and high pass filter to help you easily adjust the audio to your needs. But then in terms of cons, the extremely broad boost from two and a half to 15 kilohertz just makes this sound overly bright and harsh to my ears. And also it's discontinued. So as far as the overall sound, it doesn't seem to have a very tight low end. On the electric guitar, we could hear that as it started to muddy up in the lower frequencies. The broad treble and air boost is also detrimental to the sound. We heard that on the acoustic guitar, where it started to sound somewhat thin, and on the voice, it also started to sound somewhat brittle. So would I recommend this mic? I mean, it's discontinued, so no. But even if it was still in production, I probably wouldn't recommend it, because to my ears, it's just not pleasing at all to listen to and also in the 100 to 200 dollar price range there are some really great options available all right guys i guess that'll do it for today if you found this video fun interesting or helpful thumbs up if you hated it thumbs down want to influence what i review next head over to geeksrising.com slash podcastage and cast a vote there you want more videos like this logo beneath me check out the discord server link in the description and i will see you all later thanks for watching bye